thank you okay right so the title of this talk is not to south and back every year so i was wondering as to whether you understand what i am going to speak this is not the description of uh, dr jog moving from north to south of india and back to ahmedabad every year but <laughs> this is the discussion on influenza vaccine and you can see that uh, dr jog's name has been written in the style of the influenza virus which usually includes the <coughs> strain's name the origin of the strain the year of identification and the place okay so remember that now <coughs> the virus is uh, well known to all of you uh, the influenza virus usually is characterized by drift and the shift drift means every year it shows little change so uh, chetan becomes ketan okay so that is drift and shift means uh, you know like suddenly chetan by you know uh, becomes pramod jog total or uh, total change so that occurs not very often but that is uh, intermittently and i will tell you about it so that's why every year to prepare vaccine is simple and you know as chetan and ketan has the and no common some antibodies from chetan will go on to from 2023 to 2024 so not much of a problem but when there is a shift then there is a big problem okay and uh, there are many problems related to influenza vaccination and there are certain myths about it many parents if you speak to them they will tell you that influenza is uh, not dangerous and vaccination is not required and flu is nothing but a common cold there are no complications and influenza vaccine itself may cause flu so there are many uh, myths and that's the big problem so what you should know is uh, that this influenza is the father of all influenza like illnesses whenever you are not able to diagnose what this particular problem is for example a child usually comes to you these days our clinics have become cccs that is cough and cold clinics we are hardly getting any other patients so in this ccc is the child comes with cough cold and fever and every time i have to write i l i influenza like illness but influenza is the father of all why it is so that is because various presentations are there where the child will have high fever but three important differentiating features severe headache weakness and myalgia okay so an older child being lifted by the parents okay and brought to the clinic complaining of headache usually children don't complain of headache and high fever with chills many times you know suspect influenza and uh, in case if influenza is around you may uh, start with oseltamivir so remember it is imper so there are many many confusions i uh, because of it is related to flu it is confusion so there are many confusions whether this is uh, rhinovirus whether this is uh, influenza virus where this is adenovirus okay and you know that nobody can identify what is the type of virus even rajnikanth cannot identify that is the difficult remember that so there is lot of confusion about this and as i told you cold and influenza there are some major differences so when we discuss about the vaccine remember this uh, short form nes cafe p so initial part i will tell you what is the need for influenza vaccination so what is the need just remember uh, you know some important points that it produces uh, respiratory illnesses which are severe and many people die and remember the burden now i don't like the word burden usually burden gives negativity and uh, all of us should be always positive and that's why you call it as a challenge okay and uh, remember so what is the challenge of influenza in children you know it's a global problem so there are lot many hospitalizations and mainly children under the age of 1 year under the age of 6 months and under the age of 5 years the incidence is three times higher in developing countries and it is under reported hardly ever anybody from the audience has reported that i am reporting influenza today nobody does that isn't it so how can we know and it 28% of hospitalizations and 70% of outpatient visits with lab confirmed influenza had discharge diagnosis of influenza that means 100 children had influenza but only 28% you know were reported and the attack rates may exceed 40% in the school school and 30% in the school age children so remember that at the bottom you can read that there is high incidence high transmission complications mortality and loss of productivity and moreover the onset is abrupt the transmissibility is high from one person to other okay it immediately gets uh, transmitted so 
I am also very careful when I travel by air from anywhere to anywhere because the air hostess, you know, uh, is giving me something. And if she is suffering from influenza, I may get it very fast because transmissibility is very high. So keep always away from some of these people. And the progression is also very rapid. The ARDS develops very fast. You get vertical discharge very fast if you do not treat properly. Vertical discharge means that is the uh, way in which I tell the uh, parents. Okay, they don't understand. He may get discharged, but I will say he may get a vertical discharge. So be careful. Uh, anyway, and then oseltamivir has to be given very quickly. Okay, and these are the pandemics which have occurred all over the world. You know that 1918 was called as the uh, Spanish influenza. Then 1957 it was H2N2. 1968 it was Hong Kong. 2009 novel influenza and 2020 it was SARS-CoV-2. Now here you can see that all the birds are there at the top. But type B is the one which is transmitted from only humans to humans, remember. And that is why type B also needs to be covered properly. And you know there are some uh, type Bs like Victoria and Yamagata, you know these are lineages. So there is no cross protection. If you give Yamagata protection that does not protect against this other one, Victoria. And that is why type B is also important. And there are various factors like the quality of the health care, the strain of the influenza, and whether the vaccine has been received, which affect the global deaths. Okay? So in short, it's a large burden and people do not have the access to health care. And the populations of many countries have been aging rapidly. And under the age of 5 and above 65, the disease is very, very uh, rapid. So first is need in that Nest Cafe. Second, that E stands for efficacy of the vaccine. Now remember in short that if the viruses in the atmosphere, they match the viruses in the vaccine, then the efficacy is going to be good. This is called as a match. This is like Kundali, okay, Kundali of the boy and the girl. If it matches 36, 36, very good. So that is 100% good, okay. So that is the match which is important. Number two, when a child is immunized, he also gives these herd protection to the other siblings in the family and in the school. So that is advantage to other children also. When an adult is immunized, he is also giving or he or she, that means mother or father will protect the child. Okay. So if you know many families, the father is hypertensive, mother is diabetic, then the uh, grandfather is asthmatic. So there are some chronic problems. So you have to protect them. So they themselves get protected and also give the protection to the others in the family. So that is herd protection. And Remember that the impact of influenza on children is related to various things. So remember these four A's. So there is a quadrivalent impact. The vaccine is also quadrivalent and the impact is also quadrivalent. So influenza A is prevented. Acute respiratory infections are prevented. Antibiotic abuse is prevented. Okay. And absenteeism from the schools is prevented. Now what you should remember is in Japan, there was a school vaccination program. And you can see that the graph at the bottom wherein the vaccination was done in 1962, where influenza started coming down. But later on, parents, uh, you know, somehow they refused and then influenza rates again went up. So there have been many studies and uh, there have been uh, very, very many studies related to public health impact of quadrivalent influenza vaccine in the United States. So initially they were only giving trivalent, but now why quadrivalent? Because I told you that the other one from the B was added because they are only seen in the human beings and there is no cross protection between two Bs and type B constitutes significant number in the community. Remember, zero protection and zero conversion is important. See, in immunology, there are different terms which are used and uh, earlier also we discussed so many terms. One of them is antibody production, that is zero conversion. That means the boy is staying on one side, the girl is staying on the other side in the same society. Every day they look at each other, antibodies develop. Okay, that is zero conversion. Only, you know, the parents come to know that they are having some chemical locha. Okay, now when they come to know, they start deciding that on say 15th of January, we will have their engagement. Okay, so that is real zero protection. Okay, that means now they are going into marriage maybe in future. Of course, when all the people from the girl and the boy side are there, that is called as efficacy. That means under controlled clinical conditions. Okay, that the boy will say that I will live with you for 100 years. The girl says I will live with you for 100 years. This is efficacy. But actually the word after marriage, usually problems, you know, they come up. So the blood pressure of the father-in-law starts rising. The fights between mother-in-law, daughter-in-law, they start. So that is effectiveness, real world effectiveness. Okay, so many 
this is important of course there is one more term of course not related to this maybe of course one of the vaccines now in case if new influenza vaccine comes then it has to see show that it is non inferior to the earlier one that means if the boy somehow brings another girl after 6 months you know then the father will tell him see you have to show that the new girl is you know not inferior to the earlier one okay she could be equal so that is non inferiority trial so this is simply what you should know so that you should not forget the meanings of this anyway so there is another meaning of zero conversion that you can see that pre vaccination titers are say one in 10 and post vaccination it is more than 140 that means before engagement dr jog did not give you know anything to the girl but at the time of uh, engagement you know she went to surat and then got some diamond ring earlier she was not given so before engagement the protection rate is less but after engagement now he knows that he, she is going to get married so i will give more so after giving the vaccine the antibody level should be shown to be more this is only for you to understand and during covid also this influenza vaccine is going to have lot of use earlier also it had lot of use basically only uh, read the last line the flu shot is preferred over other vaccines because it has more beneficial effects what happens is if the child has received flu shot or the adult then the healthcare workers are aware that either it is flu or covid so flu vaccine already has been given so it is more likely to be covid so that is the only way to remember that flu vaccine will give you and also there are some studies which show that there is some amount of protection against covid also okay so icu admissions are reduced impact of influenza on the young children basically in case of covid it was found that many 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 children had additional advantage and as i told you the entire family was at risk but when the child was protected the child also gave antibodies then the schedule the schedule of the vaccines is first dose at 6 months and other dose at 7 months so there are two doses and uh, usually what happens is that you have to you know uh, remember this schedule to be guided by your own intellect what i do is at 6 months typhoid conjugate vaccine also comes so what i do is first i give typhoid conjugate vaccine at 6 uh, uh, months earlier i used to give but now after this flu what i decided because what happens after 6 months and 7 months two shots of flu directly if you call the child for 9 months mmr at 8 months many times you know they start disappearing and my patient you know goes to some other pediatrician so what i do is 6 months i give flu shot 7 months flu shot 8 months typhoid conjugate vaccine because the range is 6 to 9 months and 9 months mmr so don't leave a gap otherwise parents you know they drift okay and your practice may shift okay so remember that so you have to remember that you have to be uh, you know intelligent enough to space the vaccines guidelines of iip they will say 6 months but 6 to 9 months range is also there so always remember to utilize it properly anyway these are some of the guidelines from who nhs and others wherein they have given all they will advocate between 6 to 23 months 6 to 60 months initially you know that 0.5 ml is to be given now uh, at an interval of 1 month okay and indian academy of pediatrics also has given dose 1 at 6 months and dose 2 at 7 months to be repeated every year till 5 years of age okay aap also will give recommendation there is indigenous uh, and most economical flu vaccine from zydus which is from amdavad only and uh, basically it's a split vaccine split means you cut the apple into half that is split that means it will have the peel it will have the central pulp it will have seeds everything so the all the components are there in the vaccine and there is another one called sub unit vaccine that means only the orange peel is taken okay so antibody is only against the outer h and n antigens are there so that is uh, a sub unit vaccine and there are different views about the efficacy but in general people feel that split vaccine is 30% better than the sub unit vaccine and there is seasonality and uh, uh, vaccination timing which most of us know the world has been divided into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere and uh, depending on that the types are to be chosen so you should remember that the various parts of our country like uh, you know say pune nagpur even amdavad all these are western side basically they are to be you know the ones where the season is more in july to september and the vaccination is to be given during april and may while the northern most part srinagar and southern most part like chennai and all there you know the uh, seasonality is little different where you can give the vaccine in october and december okay so remember that uh, appropriate vaccination timing does matter 
because it improves the vaccine effectiveness as the titers wane over a period of time. When you give the vaccine today, over next six to one, six months to one year, the immunity goes down slowly and gradually. That's why we have to give it every year. Even if the strain, suppose now this time you are, now this is Northern Hemisphere time after October, November, December. Now you will ask me, next year also the same strains are there, why to repeat? Because the antibody titer slowly wanes and that's why Northern versus Southern Hemisphere recommendations are to be remembered. See, ideally India comes under Northern Hemisphere geographically, but our seasonality is according to the Southern Hemisphere. That's why the Southern Hemisphere recommendations are there. But with all said and done, use your cerebral hemisphere, okay? That means use your brain when you give the vaccine. These are all recommendations. Anyway, so remember that children have the highest influenza attack rates. Under the age of 5, the incidence is very high. There are many, many OPD visits and WHO recommends the Southern Hemisphere vaccine for India based on the vaccination zone, okay? See, WHO people means, you know, some of us only, you know, like Chetan Bhai will go tomorrow, I am there today, then uh, Tushar Bhai will be there. So, our people are only there. So, for the entire world, they have to think, okay? So, uh, you have to just take your own decisions. These are the strains which every time uh, keep changing. There are two A, H1N1, H3, N2, B, Victoria, B, Yamagata, okay? So, every year you will find that there are little changes. Remember, pregnant women need to be immunized because in the first six months, there is no protection to the child, okay? That is why there was a trial in Bangladesh, which was called as mother's gift trial, okay? What was the trial? Mothers were given the vaccine and the antibodies were, you know, transferred to the babies. In the first six months, there are some illnesses where the protection is not there to the babies. And that is why immunize the pregnant mothers also so that they will transmit these antibodies to the babies in the first six months. Otherwise, first six months, the babies are not protected. Okay, remember that. So, influenza is unpredictable. Expect the unexpected and better to be prepared than sorry. And always remember to follow Hasta Sutras. The Hasta Sutras means hand-related sutras for prevention, like hand washing, use of handkerchief, not touching the uh, hand to the face, okay? Avoiding handshake, okay? So, remember all these Hasta Sutras are important and always say, Namaste like this, okay? Of course, look at the hands, not at the other uh, gentlemen, okay? So, always remember to say, uh, happy birthday to flu, that for you and to children also. That means every birthday, you should get yourself immunized, also immunize your family member, so that happy birthday to you should become happy birthday to flu also, because it's an annually single shot. Thank you. Okay.